Shut up and sit down. And of course, Dougie, let's just talk about uh, how tight this tussle will be because the two teams have met on 23 occasions. The Burgers just leading with 10 wins, Northcote with 9 and 4 draws. So it's been, been a very hard to split. It's been a very tough tie all its long. Look at there, looks like one of the boys, Lukey Bowles, coming over to say hello to some family. Looks like over to there as you're walking out. I'm obviously happy to skip her. He's breaking away there to see someone special, which is fantastic. But what a, how good does the pitch look? You know, it's a beautiful setup here at Oakley. You know, you've got the grandstand. We're up the top of the grandstand in here. We'll have some noise, no doubt, because we've got the support. Oh, we're right in. We're right in amongst the Dougie, and so you'll probably be able to hear that on the effects mic. But um, the players to watch tonight for Northcote City, who are who are the danger man, I think, will be the skipper. Joshua Knight, the number eight, he's been in terrific form. Eight goals in the NPL and two goals in the Cup, so ten goals for the season. And of course for the Burgers, you can't go past Kenny Athew, who's had six goals in this comp, 15 overall, and uh, of course Shawnee Ellis, the man with the magic left wand there. That's fair though, though, Johnny, let's be fair. Heidelberg on the day can't be beaten anyone. You know, we've seen nothing but beautiful football from Burgers and got stronger and stronger, you know, on their day. Can their day be today? That is a big one. Is it their day today or is it Northcote's today? You know, you talk some stats there. Northcote's always go them a good, you know, good run for their money. And then Burgess. Let's be fair, they've done some great football. We've seen some beautiful football for them. But you know what happens, though, mate, in this Westfield Round 7 FFA Cup, mate? It's cup it's, action, isn't it, Dougie? It's in anyone's game. Cup, cup games have that. It's the magic of the cup, as they call it. And, you know, it's anything can happen on the night, Dougie. I mean, you know... Well, we have a great game ahead for you guys here, live on Heidelberg United FC TV with Westfield. FFA Cup Round 7 live at Jackhead Reserve. We're underway with the Burgers. Noon just knocks it back to Petrie. He'll do the old English style, put it in the corners there, and we'll go and penetrate and we'll push, we'll stretch. Put a bit of pressure on um, Northcote City. I'm going to be very careful not saying Oakley, seeing that we're here yeah, at Oakley. Yeah, we are at Oakley, but it's... A Northcote City home Referee game. Referee will say, I tell you what though, Johnny, I've never seen that for a long time. Throw in that never came in. Do you think that's yeah, nerves? Yeah, that's, uh, that's a bit of tinge of nerves there. Just uh, to they get themselves settled. And that was uh, the Northcote right back there, George Stavridis, who couldn't get the ball back in into play. So it'll be a Northcote throw. I'm going over halfway. Ruben Way with the early header. Zara flicks it on. Petrie flicks it over to Way. Ramsey gets there ahead of everyone. Luke Bowles gets there ahead, but now it's the number 14, Papa Dimitriou. On the outside, he's got Knight. Northcote on the attack early days. Looking for the long ball in, over the head of everyone. In fact, uh, looks like the ball's gone yeah, out there, Johnny. Okay. Yes, it does. We'll go around the clock. Pacey, take a touch. He'll look it out to JW. He'll bring him forward. Look for Kenny. Kenny hit his feet. No, he's gone diagonal. Sean hit Harry Noon. Great defensive header. Not as far though, Lewis, will he pull the trigger? Can he get a didn't tap in? Yes, he can. Cleared away by Northcote. A little bit of pressure here by the Burgers. As far as pace, he'll get it down again. Bit of a rustle, tussle. Northcote just on the back foot. Sahar, handball there, Johnny. Yeah, I think it's Johnny one him on the elbow there. And Northcote play it quickly. Out on the left. That's the number 11 there, Flynn. Twisting and turning, goes in board. Is he going to go across the field? And eventually they turn the ball over. Kenny Athew on the run, looking for Harry Noon's run, but Harry Noon was flat-footed. Harry didn't run. Yeah, he didn't run. So now it'll be Ramsey into Knight, back to Knight, off top of Dimitriou, and Ruben Way with a good header back, pushing to the keeper. Good awareness and good decision making there by the left back. Obviously a makeshift left back, being a left winger, we could say, or an outside yeah. left, but um, done a great job for um, Burgers recently, Ruben Way. Quite comfortable on the ball, good at getting forward as we know, John. Well, he set up the uh, the winning goal over at uh, Port Melbourne last Friday. And what a fantastic run that was down the left-hand side. There you go. Here comes Ruben Wade though, Johnny. Sorry, mate, just seen Ruben Wade, but I didn't see him there. Uh, Lewis Hall couldn't pick him out. I was getting excited there, Johnny. I've seen the overlap by Ruben Wade. I thought he's in here. But uh, Stephen Pace now. Goes for the diagonal now, looking for Harry Noon. Away by 
looks like uh, Stavridis who's tucking in almost as a third centre back and Ramsey tucking in almost as a wing back, the number seven. They're going to counter attack, mate. They're yeah. going to play on the counter as they will do Northcote and try and break the burgers down. Just make sure they keep themselves. And here comes counter attacking JW. Pass one, pass two. Too strong. Can he find someone? Not the best of balls coming in, though. But it'll hit the number 14. Um, yeah, Pepper Dimitri. He'll, he'll turn. Great run by Nice, but just can't get in. Ruben Way, great re re um, defensive run. Comes back in. Go the way in there. Northcote comes out the other side. Yeah. Had to hold it up that time, Papa Dimitri. They'll come away this time through Turner. The underdogs you would you would fancy in this game. It's Kenny Athew can't get that ball. And the game goes on though, Johnny. Will yeah, Will that, the Heidelberg boys get frustrated? Yeah, that time it was uh, Aaron Turner being tackled by Jack Petrie. And so the ball, Northcote free kick and Heidelberg not happy with that decision. So more the game goes on, the Burgers, you know, we know they can get frustrated, but at the moment, the movement in the final third for the Burgers have been very ordinary. You know, the, Kenny's got to move, Noon's got to move. You know, I know Harry's, you know, is he carrying an injury? Long ball, McMaster's, Josh Wilkins will come in, nice clearing header. Harry will back into him, turns, rolls in, gets it under his plays, a bit rusty, dusty, but in Shawnee Ellis, looks for the throw in. Harry just doesn't look himself at the moment, he's had a week off. He might just be finding his feet again, he's had a Probably a week and a half off, Dougie, since uh, last Monday. The games are coming through thick and fast. And, of course, don't forget, uh, HUFC TV viewers, we've got another game this Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern time against Avondale. Top of the table clash. Ruben Wade with a strike. Oh, oh, goals! oh what a goal! Get that out of the back of there. Let's look at that replay. Ball in there by Harry Noon. We'll go to the replay now. Look at the ball in here. Let's have a look at this one, Johnny. Great strike, ball in there, back heel by Hanoon. Shawnee Ellis looks up, whipped in, cleared away by the Northcote. Only as far as Ruben Lee took his time, but looked up, struck it beautifully. The Masters just couldn't get to it. And the corner there is the Heidelberg goes. 1 0 up here at Jack Edwards Reserve. We've got a game on the hands today. Ruben Wade won for the Burgers. Northcote City nil. What a great strike that was in there, Johnny. Sensational. You just, you can see we were right behind that Dougie. He set himself up well and mate you couldn't, as Dennis Cometti would say, centimetre perfect. Split the gap in between McMaster and the post and it nestled in that bottom left hand corner. And we know Ruben Way's got a wand of a left foot and that just showed what a great wand. A little, little, little drag back in there, a little back heel by Harry New and Shawnee Ellis gets it over. North can see this didn't get the header cleared height and distance he needed and Ruben's gone, you know what, I'm lining this up, I'm having a cigar and a cup of tea and in it comes. Well Dougie, that was uh, as a result, Northcote playing a square line at the back there and uh, Ruben Way was able to get a lot of space in there because a lot of Northcote players were back behind the ball and of course that time able to capitalise with an inch perfect shot. They passed him, gave away cheaply, Petri, great touch in there, cheeky though. Well, intercepted there by the number 10, it looks like Yusuf for um, Northcote. But um, the Burgers, Harry is so dangerous getting into those yeah, positions. Just gets into that little hole, in that little pocket of space, Dougie. But how does this change the mentality of the game? Do Northcote change their tactics, or is well, it too well, early to even? Too, too early, too, but it's the old saying, though, mate. It's, you know, very early. We'll go back to that in a second. Harry Noon, he's got no one in there. He's got Sahar on the end of the 18 yard box on his own. Can he whip it in? He does. Kenny, Kenny takes a touch. Oh, oh just a heavy touch. That's all. I tell you what, it had sucked in there, mate. Just had to stick to him there like glue. And I tell you what, could he have struck that first time? Well, might have been an argument for hitting that first time, Dougie. But Sixpence. You, you see what he was trying to do, just trying to set himself up and whip it across McMaster. But uh, the touch was heavy, and McMaster gleefully wraps that up as Yusuf now on the ball for Northcote. But look at that terrier, terrier like tackling there, Zara. He done well, the referee. Give him credit there, though. Petri came out there. Zahara slipped. So there's no, obviously, with the tackle. Yeah. Three, four seconds to play. But here comes the Burgers again through Josh. Great little ball there. Doesn't find um, Zahara in there. Out comes Knights. He'll take a touch. Pinch, though, Hall, though. Right way. Kenny's there showing for him. Not the best left foot we've seen, no, you're not. Yeah. That's the way it's a shabby one off the room and way. Yeah, it's it's like a wand. He strikes him well when he's shooting a goal. But the pass was astray that time. As uh, again, the Burgers pressing up and Northcote having to play the triangles. Miles will take a touch, hit Ruben away feet, here he comes in front of us, Spark way, in it comes, looks at a one-two. 
Only as far as use of keep strong there. Kenny does find him, gets a turn. Strikes, doesn't get it. Noon looks for the outside. They've got an overlap and run. Joshy Wilkinson, he's got runners in the back there. Can he get a yard? Yes, he does. He gets two. Picks someone out. Where are you, sir? Should be fussing you in there in the back of that line. Referee says goal kick. They are opportunities, Joey. Yeah, Zara just a little bit on his haunches that time as the ball was played in. And Ramsey was able to just usher that ball out. But uh, Johnny, great run, overlapping run there by Josh Wilkins. Great penetration, great in there, great to you, great to created two yards. But let's be fair, Sahar's got a busted in there, doesn't he? Oh, nice play by Lewis Hall. Then she twists away out of trouble, back to pace. And now Ruben Way. So Heidelberg certainly controlling the, the, the game at the moment, but uh, just a goal to the good at the moment. Zara now. Tests it down. Gets away from the challenge. Cuts in board, does well. Takes two or three defenders out. And eventually, Play brought down it. by a tackle. Play for it, Johnny. No, it's definitely play for it there, though, Johnny. The dangerous situation. Who are you putting your money on here? Petri well, or Noon? Well, usually, from, from this side, you would fancy it'd be Jack Petri. He's not going to do anything. Just keep him in there. Petri looks up over the balls. Around the corner. Oh, Just was... doesn't get enough swing on it there, yeah. Johnny. Just uh, couldn't get the swerve on it. Uh, probably the the obvious spot where he was going around that wall to the near post to try and catch McMaster out, but uh, McMaster was grateful that that was going well wide in the end. That's, they've set up as a three, Johnny, and they've yeah. got the two wing backs and they're sitting that low. Yeah. They're sitting that deep, I should say, because they have to because the penetration coming in that they know what Josh Wilkes and long throw. Who's going to win it? So, ah, no, he brings it to his chest and that's oh, all. Gets down away. Referee sees a little obstruction or some sort in there. But I think he uh, was saying in there, pointing to his hand, I think. Uh, maybe Lewis Hall might have got a hand on that one. Let's have a look at the, the positives from the burgers. We've got penetration on the right-hand side, John Wilkins, who is absolutely frightening at times. Ruben Way is the same. Wouldn't you be scared? Yes, you would. They are playing with three. They're trying to get the wing backs up high. As you can see, look at the man out here in front of us at the moment. The diagonal is on too slow, son. He does find him this time. Ramsey, lots to do, son. Then he took your chest out. It was like a cannon. Ruben Way, Ramsey, great challenge in there by Ruben. He wins it back though, Ramsey. Plays it in touch. Yusuf, little one by night. Yusuf looks up. Can someone close him down? Finds Flynn out wide. Tucked away, back step. Ramsey volleys. Tell you what, though, son, in that position, you've got to put that back across there, mate. You can't score from that angle. Look yeah, where the height from Watson. It worked well that time, Northcote. The first, look, first real moment of danger there for Northcote City. As they won the ball in the middle and it was flicked across to the number 11, Flynn. He chipped the ball over and saw one, and Ramsey in the back post chasing the ball in, could only get it across. Could he have headed it back there, Johnny? Or was, that that awkward, the back? was that that awkward or still, could you have headed? Could he have dived and headed into that, you know what I mean? Decision making, that's the vital. And Ramsey was on about five seconds, six seconds earlier, would have created a bit more space, but obviously the Northcote didn't see it. Is that the difference between the teams? Where's the hyphen going? Around the neck? <laughs> Just ever so slightly, Dougie. Oh, As uh, Dougie. If you want a cuddle, we'll have a cuddle. Let's, uh, of course, once again thank our wonderful sponsors here as we're watching this round seven of the Westfield FFA Cup match between Northcote City and Heidelberg. The Burgers leading 1-0. Brought to you by Windsor Management Insurance Brokers here on HUFC TV. And it's the Burgers holding sway as we approach the last five or six minutes of this first half but only a goal to the good so there's still game on as Sean Ellis now on the charge down the right goes back in board whips it in Kenny Ethnew and what a brilliant goal what a brilliant cross and Kenny Ethnew on the spot to tuck it home Dougie take it away with the replay let's have a look at the replay we can't get it sweetie come on sweetie give me the replay because we want to see it Tell you what, that's a great goal in there. Textbook as we call it in the game of football. And here it comes, right in there, Shawnee Ellis. Drops in, looks up, clipped in with a great ball in it. Picked his centre half off the big fella. Saranis in there, glancing header. Let's be fair, McMaster couldn't do a thing about oh, that. Dougie, if you're a centre forward, you'd love that sort of delivery. But the ball whipping in. All he had to do was really get a head on it, and that was going in. There's a centre half, though. I would have dived in before him, burned him off, and it would have been a clearance. Wow. But you know what? No centre forward is a great run. He's picked his centre half off, and that's what you're meant to do as a forward. And you think that, that one probably straight out of the training ground, Dougie. That sort of whipped in cross from, from the right-hand side. It's always sort of going towards the back post, and 
Kenny Anthony just powered it. And, I, and I'll say here in the A, the A League, they overplay in areas. It's the old saying. I said to Brian Marwood, a friend of mine from Melbourne City, I said, mate, you'd be out of a job, but you wouldn't be out of a job in this game in here with the NPL because he done that for a living. Beckham whipped in balls. Yeah, they ball overdo ball. it, mate. Big to catch people I like. It's in great positions. That ball's coming in with pace. You want your defender facing his own goal. OG's come from that position. He's got a lot to do. And they're where the goals have came. You know, let's be fair, North can clear the line, came out the room and Wayne, lots to do. But that goal from um, Shawnee Ellison, we know the factor's got great skill and technique to whipping them dangerous balls in ever so deeply. So, mate, let's get them balls ripped in the box. Yeah. And, and, and as you said, as a defender, you'd hate that because you, you don't get time to set when that ball's played in early. But you said you're always backtracking, so it can lead to own goals. And you know, as a player comes in there across the face, he whipped it, whipped it in, and Kenny was just there. They run, they run time, he's run well, picked the centre half off, and that's what he meant to do as a, you know, as a striker. You know, me being a centre half, my arm would have been out, the iron steel, as I call it. So you can't get across me. That's the way we teach kids. That's the way we teach men. Can't pick me off. Can't get across me. Hold your arm out. The big iron bar, as we call it. Can't hit him. Hold him. Use your body. He can't. Give him a nudge and get yourself in. But anyway, that's what he needed to do when King Kenny said no. Yes, we have a game and a half here in the Westfield FMA round two. We've got Heidelberg two, Northgate City nil. What a great game for the Burgers so far, Kenny, Johnny. Kenny Athew scoring, of course, his seventh goal in this competition so far. So he scored in every round thus far. And uh, putting the Burgers 2 0 up with under five minutes to go before the half time. Well, Wade's hit that with some pace. Harry New, nice taking him by the Petri. He'll clip that out to Joshie Wilkins. No, King Kenny got him there. Wade Wilkins will have it now, though, with a bit of time. Looks up, bit of movement. Zahar around the back. Will he make it this time? Zahar! Oh, I can see him out there, Johnny. I can play a good game from up here. He picked it in and just need a little bit, though. Then he comes in short. No. Biles looks behind. No room in there. Gave it away cheaply. And in there comes the 18 Turner. Breaking away with Northcote. He's got Flynn on the left hand side. Knight. He'll look up. Played in there. Oh, but there it is, the big haul. He comes Harry Yoon. We've got Kenny time in his run. Harry's going to go on his own. And he'll go. Take it out. Referee. Yellow card. Harry will have a bit of a go, eh? There you go, son. You don't bring your head there, referee. You get a yes. You don't do that to Harry Noon. Hello. Fair play to you, referee. Let's have a look at this on the replay. Refer in, and a two two goal deficit, Dougie. You know, you look at those, you know what you were saying, mate. It's, you know, they've, they've sat deep. They've sat very deep. Obviously, the game plan was to sit deep and hit them on the tack. And why wouldn't you? Heidelberg are a great, you know, they're a great side. They've, been, they've played some great football. Noon. We'll go, we'll talk about that in a minute. We've got about um, a minute left of playing. Ball's played in the Harry Noon. King Tenny, great little roll. Look at this. The Sahar's coming in. Moves it across. Now Kenny time his run. Sahar, one touch. Gets a little cheap. McMaster's great come keeping. out. Great, great goal. keeping by McMaster. Spotted that on the line, came out. Locked the player down and Zara couldn't get the shot on goal. As Ruben Way now comes forward again. Can't get past Yusuf. Eventually it's taken out. <laughs> and the referee for the FFA Cup match here. Round seven blows half time. And Heidelberg United leading 2 0. Dougie with goals on the 15 minutes to Ruben Way and also on 40 minutes to Kenny Athew. Welcome back guys for a delightful game we have here on most definitely the Burgers. It's a great game for the Westfield FFA Cup Round 7 live at Jack Edwards Reserve. What a game we've had here tonight with the mighty Heidelberg United winning two goals to nil against Northcote City. It's been an eventful game with a yellow car, two yellow straight, red. What a game we've had Johnny as the boys just make their way out. Burgers scoring obviously on the 45th. 15th minute and the 40th minute, Dougie. And the 45th was a yellow, yeah. yellow and a red. Did he go yellow, red, or did he go yellow, second yellow, well, he red? He pulled out the red, uh, he yellow, pulled out red. the yellow, and then a red. And then the red for the second reaction. I think the yellow was for the first interception. Foul. Yep. And then the uh, red card for the retaliation with the. But thing, just, but, uh, just cupping, if you're just coming to us now, we are uh, Northcote nil, obviously in Heidelberg United 2. Northcote will start the kickoff, but Johnny. What's in store? Any substitutions? Can you bring me anything? I can't see any changes that have been made as Northcote 
get us underway, Dougie, and this action brought to you on HUFC TV, of course, by our wonderful sponsors, by Windsor Management Insurance Brokers, and Northcote on the attack straight away. Knight getting the ball back. Hello, shirts behind the ball now. They have that. That's, they've got to break. If you're going to break, you've got to go early. Little Ramsey, he'll get inside though. Cleaned up there. Yes, it is by Ruben Way. One touch, two. Noon, you're one on one. Go yourself, son. Does he not? Overlap and Shawnee Ellis is coming. Kenny, can he get on the other side? Back sticking there. You can see Ruben. In comes Shawnee Ellis. He'll take a touch. I know where he's going. Does he get it? Yes, he does. And strikes! It's no! A woo from the crowd as that's what he got. Johnny! <laughs> was dipping, Dougie. Uh, Shawnee Ellis, we, you called it brilliantly, Dougie. You knew what he was looking for. Trying to cut back inboard. And let's have a look at that on the replay. He got, the, he got a bit of a lucky bounce there as he came out from Kenny. You can see there, automatically tries to get inboard. Got away from him. And then look at this shot. Just dipping over the bar. As McMaster was grasping for air there. The bus going in though, Sahara on the attack in the 18. Kenny takes the touch, he gets a pull away. Slow foot, and there it is. No, it wasn't, says McMaster's watch. It runs across the face of the goals. Great opportunity, you went back in there for the big King Kenny oh, to put that away. Had two opportunities in within a minute, Dougie, to really kill the game off. As Dougie, talk us through that one again as Nick gets the replay up for us. No, no. smoothie and um, sweetie's gone. No, custard pie. We're on the way. Up it goes. That's a thigh. Alice keeps it down. Handball says referee. Left to right, 12. Out it comes the Sadler. He'll knock the ball in long. Even one in there. The one, yep. Keeps it in there. Played a little one, two. Ramsey. And now Northcote. Ramsey now with a beautiful cross in. It's Pepper Dimitriou! And puts it over the bar. Had a chance there. Let's have a well, look. Well, City will be ruining that missed opportunity. I think it's Crant with it in here. Ramsey looks up, clips it in. Bit of a deep ball. Pace. Bad defending there by Pace. Should have done better there, the number 14. Pace should have done better by clearing it. The fans are asking what happened in South Melbourne Dandy City. They're watching four Heidelberg off. United versus Northcote. And um, Hyphen, tell you what, Burke has got away very there. Pace oh. is just overplaying, a bit more too comfortable in my life for centre half in that situation. Yes. Sometimes you just got to clear your lines. Petri, here we come again. Looks in there. Sahar will come in, use his body well. Once, two, dived off each other. No, play on, and you got that one right too, referee for sure. And it comes with the skipper. Nice, plays it out, but no, Joshy Wilkins. Here he goes. We know he knows how to run. Clipped it diagonally. Is that the pace? He's up there. The barometer plays it back in there to noon. Unlucky, nice football. The Flyingsman says that was onside. Well played by the Heidelberg. Great breaking move there with Joshy well, Zelda. He, forward that time, he had a nosebleed. Get back over that halfway line in there, Johnny. <laughs> what a, almost an argument for him to have a shot, but. A lovely little ball played in, Harry Noon stretching every fibre there, just couldn't get off, get onto the end of that as Heidelberg, Heidelberg United Football Club TV brought to you tonight by Windsor Management Insurance Brokers. We're watching Westfield FFA Cup round seven action here. The winner to go through to the final 32 in the national competition. Slaps Dougie. Just uh, probably mouth of that time expecting the offside call I think Dougie. And now the referee comes across, has been told to get back in your box. That's Jack in the box, Petrie. <laughs> anyway, what we got? Far side corner. Northcote City, yes. Uh, and Heidelberg certainly won't want to take the foot off the pedal, Dougie, because... I may have so, Johnny. Clipped in long, played in, go! Oh! Oh, tell you what, the hyphens had to do ever so well there. That was going in the back oh, of the net. That certainly was, and sadly, it was a man with that. In fact, it was Mark Watley. Don't ever say Matthew Watley. Watley. Let's have a, look at the have a look at that, Dougie. Not a bad ball in, had a bit of pace on it, moving away from the goalkeeper. Not doing, look at the movement, in it goes. Up there, had a lot to do. Tell you what, lost his marker. And the hyphen getting a great little left hand that. In it comes again. Ball's being whipped in. Not a bad ball again. In it comes. This time, Biles at the back of it. The Fafano, what's he got? He's got pace. Has he got the ball though? No. Ramsey plays it short. Rooks have come in. Here, they, here comes Northkin again. McLean getting a few touches. That's got some pace on it. The hyphen will take it. Cherries. Look at Shorty Ellis. He'll turn. As we're into the last four minutes here of regulation. 
will probably be a couple of minutes again in this second half. There hasn't been too many injuries, but a few substitutions, which will take some time. Kanakara has got some speed. Here he goes, left foot. Can he find Kenny? One touch. He gets his head up. Oh, second touch was a tackle. That was unfortunate. Kenny will be disappointing himself no, in there. Can chance Karras, of a lifetime, Dougie. Ken Karras done ever so well knocking into there. King Kenny's second touch just let him down. Unfortunately in there though, mate. That would have been a number three that would have killed the game good and properly there, Johnny. Yeah, I think uh, Heidelberg still holding sway, but that two goal lead just probably will disappoint them enough that they haven't really created enough in this second half where you'd say they should have killed the game off. As the ball's pumped long, Ruben way up like Jezzelinko that time. <laughs> it was a Jezza, wasn't it? It was a Rose like a salmon. Headed the ball away as now as North getting lovely little triangle passes there. But again, three men onto one. Josh Wilkinson for Farno. Can he go inside that left foot? Is he going to go inside? Of course he was. He's a left footer. Great run by Harry Noon. Can he whip it in back stick? Yeah, can he? Yes, he is. Can he go? Can he? McMaster's done ever so well there. Close it down. He's on your bike. Strikes it early. Rams is away. Great opportunity in there though for the Burgers. Just had to get him in there. We're still going. Can he car us? Can he find Noon? No, he doesn't. Here they go again by Sawan. Do we get a replay on that one? No, we don't. Yes, we do. Pace, yes it is. There's the replay. Noon struck it ever so well. Kenny couldn't have hit it first time. That's two he could have hit first time, I think, Johnny. He could have, and uh, McMaster was down well. And if he'd hit it first time, it was only that touch. Like his volley before, John. Sixpence, as we call it. Volley, buddy, holly, volley, sixpence. Call it what you want. Heidelberg just looking to waste time at the moment. Oh, no, he's got acres. Let's see you take him on, son. Lock, why did he got in the locker? Go on. Drop that shoulder. He's gone inside. All left foot. Like to see his right. You know what, though? You know what, though, referee? I'd go for the pulling first. I'd go for the pull. Had hold of his shirt. Yeah, got, got, uh, Had hold of his shirt. Yeah, got got retaliation, got, yeah. Got, he pulled his shirt and actually got him to get off his shirt. Yeah. So, yellow card in the 94th minute of play by Fofana who got pinned for just retaliating there, trying to flick the arm away. He was just trying to break the fall, he had hold of his shirt. The referee should have seen that and stopped that first. He missed that one and got the second up by Biles. Air Jordan, up it goes again. But you know what, mate? mate. Here it is. And there's the final whistle, Dougie. Let's have a recap of this beautiful game today, so, Johnny. We what? had a beautiful game of the round seven. You can talk me through where it's going to go. Goals on the 15 minute by Ruben Way. Goals on the 40 minute by King Kenny. And that, that, how it stayed at half time, 2 0. And a red card, of course, in the 44th minute of play to George Stavridis of Northcote City, which probably turned out to be the decisive moment because they went two goals down just minutes earlier and really you thought there was going to be a long way back. So, Dougie. This round seven match, Heidelberg United in the Westfield FFA Cup, running out 2-0 winners over local rivals. And